Hey, what's up everybody? Austin coming at you with VaporLeaf.com and today we're going to be talking about the Sauron Edge. So to fill the tank, all that we need to do is pull it out of the device, it's held in magnetically, and then we're just going to open this fill port on the side, and then fill our juice through that little hole right there. You have a see-through reservoir, as you can see. Once you fill your juice, you just pop that rubber plug back down, pop this back into the device, and then you're going to want to let it set for at least 10 minutes. Now, something to help you not puff on it, or at least not burn the coil prematurely, it has a lock button on the side. And if you hit the button five times, one, two, three, four, five, you can see it flashes red to lock it, one, two, three, four, five, and green to unlock it. This can help you prevent it, like I said, from burning the coil, because I usually set it on there to prime, and just mindlessly throughout those 10 minutes, I'll come up and try and take a puff off of, it, off of the pod and just burn an otherwise perfectly good coil. Another cool thing about these air pods is that it uses two separate holes to actually do the vaping. This small hole on the side here is what's actually activating the firing mechanism, and then this larger hole right here is what you actually are vaping out of. Now when you pull the pod out of the device, you can see that your airflow is right there. You have those 10 small little dots. And then on the bottom here, it might be a little hard to see, but there's a little tiny hole right there. Now that's your activation, and once again, this is your airflow for the actual coil. This allows for some very light draws. The sensor is remarkably sensitive because of the very small activation chamber there. But be sure when you're taking a puff off of the device that you do not cover this little slit on the one side of the pod. This is where all of the airflow comes from outside of the device when you're actually vaping on it. To charge the battery, you use a micro USB-C charge cable. You get two replaceable batteries that are just held in magnetically once again. These batteries boast a quick charge of 30 minutes, and with getting hours of battery life out of each battery, you never have to worry about charging or battery life again. One thing to keep in mind when purchasing the Soren Edge is that our kits do not come with pods, so you will need to buy a pod when you're buying the kit right off the bat. The battery, as you saw with the locking function, has an LED built into it. This serves a couple different purposes aside from the locking function. First off is charging. When you plug in a dead battery, it will start glowing red. When it's fully charged, it will be a solid blue. This is also a battery life indicator. When the battery glows green, that means the battery remaining is at 100 to 70%. When the battery glows blue, that means that it's between 70 and 30%. When the battery glows red, that means it's between 30 and 0%. The Sarin Edge is a wonderful mouth-to-lung vape that can be used with either nicotine salt vape juice or free base vape juice, or as most people know it, just regular vape juice. There are multiple things that I really like about the Soren Edge, primarily being that they compete directly with the Jewel. It's just better in every single way. It has two 230 milliamp hour batteries that are removable and charge a lot quicker than the 200 milliamp hour battery in the Jewel. The tank is 1.5 mils, which is more than double the 0.7 mil tank that's sealed on the Jewel, and it's almost the exact same size aside from a little bit of width. All right, thank you so much for watching. You can pick this up on our website at vapeleaf.com or come check it out in our shop in Lakewood, Colorado. We'll see you next time. Bye.